Hello everyone and welcome to first look on Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire. As two or three games before that I showed you in the let's look at uh, format, Tahira is currently in Kickstarter phase, it's in pre-alpha or they claim this is an alpha build, you know everybody names these stages differently, but Tahira is a really interesting game that I really think deserve to get uh, pushed through the Kickstarter and to be able to get the chance to become a final product because Tahira combines some really interesting mechanics, um, especially the ones that I miss in so many games currently. Now we are going to look at it, but I implore you right now to go and have a look at the Kickstarter page because with all the information that are located there and they've done a great job on uh, telling you what to expect from the final product, uh, this might seem like too much of a shallow look, but I'll try to make it as good as possible. So hi, this is an alpha build of Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire. Animations are missing, dialogue is frequently horrendous, and many game mechanics are either unfinished or still experimental. Despite all this, we still think it's well on its way to being fun. We're currently running a Kickstarter campaign for Tahira. If you like what you play, we could really use your support. Let us know what you think on the campaign page. Cheers, Tom, Peter C and Peter S. So without further ado, let's go and play the tech demo. I do know, somewhere in Avestan, I guess. Fine, don't tell me where they are. Stab. Soldiers, spread out and find the rest of them. Yes, sir. They're going after the civilians, said Tahira. Baruti, we'll need to split up to stop them. So, now we can start playing, but I'm gonna try to give you a bit of info before we start. Tahira is a story about a fallen kingdom that is led by Tahira. The game will be an interesting mesh of a medieval and sci-fi kind of theme, because usually uh, you don't get these together. But Tahira is a story about a spacefaring civilization that was destroyed, I don't know if it was destroyed by itself or by external influences, but it regressed to a stage of a medieval empire. But there are still places and things that you can see in the game that will resemble future science fiction. Now for the tech demo I don't think we have anything like that. Uh, but it's good to know that Tahira, the woman here, is a princess that's leading her, I would say, runaway uh, civil civilians or runaway civilization uh, from the kingdom that was destroyed through the desert to find a new place to settle. Now, uh, we are supposed in this mission and there will be many missions like this in the future to save something. It's not usually about killing people, it's in this case about saving civilians. So we need to save three camps and we can do that. We can save four though, I tried and I failed. So we're gonna abandon the people up there, which seems harsh, but you know, it's basically what you have to do. And we're gonna send our trusty soldiers and Tahira uh, and Baruti and Claw, which is this guy, to help the Southern forces. So we've got a couple of knights here and we got three heroes. Each one has different statistics. There will be many things like special attacks and finesse strikes and RPG upgrading and leveling in the game later on, but for now and in this one single mission you can just see that different forces have different strengths and you need to deal with them accordingly. So the enemy is sending his foot soldiers right on us, which isn't really such a good thing. Okay, these four will attack the two knights that are protecting one of the camps and we can really have that at this point. Now I'm gonna continue descending south with the claw 
the hero will be right next to him. Okay, how far can you guys go? I'm down here. So if I move Baruti about here, we should be fine together with all the knights. And we'll face you guys here while two of our soldiers or knights will continue down south. I'll probably send Tahira and Baruti to do that uh, to protect the civilians. Okay, this, this is a bad move, but I don't have any other choice than to take it. I wasted some movement points there. So my forces are located down there, and you can see that the enemy, enemy is attacking uh, the northern civilian camp, or whatever you want to call it. Yes, civilian group. I, I For some reason I call it camp. Um, maybe because they're camped there, I'm not sure. Uh, the footmen are way weaker than the knights are, so these two will be able to hold themselves against them for quite some time. However, without much support, they are going to fall pretty quickly. So now we are going to send you guys here. And we are going to start attacking the knights. Now the claw is pretty strong. Oh, yeah, we got a wrong... <laughs> we got a wrong animation there. Okay, but he nailed him by quite a lot. Uh, 12 actually, 12 damage. That is awesome. I'm gonna send uh, Baruti to help the call and tag this guy. Shouldn't really be such an issue. Yeah, he's dead. Minus 6. That was a freaking strike. But you can see that some of the animations are missing. They will all be added together with dialogues and um, music and everything in the final build. We're doing quite well here, I think. Though Tahira could get murdered massively in about a few seconds. Okay, that was a nice hit right there. These guys will stand their own, but they are probably not capable of uh, doing much harm here. They will, however, kill at least two of them, so that is good. Okay, the claw is well armored, so he can hold himself against the enemy. Who can though is Tahira. She has a pretty decent strike, but doesn't really do well against... Um, Footman. There's an interesting uh, concept that is shown in the game of passing through enemy zones. For example, if I'm trying to pass like this, this guy would immediately attack me, which is logical because in many games you get uh, the situation where you pass through someone's uh, zone of control and it just stops you. Here, he attacks you. So that is a pretty refreshing concept. There are many uh, screenshots from special attacks and things like that in uh, or on the Kickstarter page so you should check them out you will get many more oh hey this is interesting so when he killed him he freed Tahira for another attack I wasn't aware that was a thing see interesting so Tahira will strike this guy from the back. I'm not entirely sure if there will be things like backstabbing. It would be definite to a neat, but uh, the tank demo doesn't contain it. Wow, Baruti is a massive badass right there. Okay, you can attack this guy and... Wow, one hit point. Well, I wanted to move two troops uh, forward, but... Actually, I can do that right now. Baruti... No, this is the call. The call will finish him. And we will move the knight here. We really need to help these guys, like, right now. Man, the knights are badasses. Now, in the final game, uh, you will be able to probably move freely around the map, recruit different troops, um, trying to... Uh, see the, their culture and you know having all these interesting dialogues I'm really interested in how it will turn out because uh, so far the concept seems well 
I, I'm really psyched about all the possibilities this uh, this game can have. But I'd like to be not overly optimistic though, but still, the game... If this is alpha, many developers would consider this a final product, so uh, that makes me really thrilled. Oh god, if he dies, it means that uh, this group will be captured immediately and slaughtered. So I really need to push forward. I think it might be too late though. We might do this. Come on, come on, come on, no! Oh, he's going down. Oh, god damn it, no! Oh no, well... <laughs> okay, we lost. Uh, but we're gonna see this through anyway. Another great way how to <laughs> show the game by losing. Oh uh, yeah, there's really not much I can do here. I should have probably gone for these guys. They stood their ground better. Um, okay. I think I can do with you. I think I can whack you. Reinforcements! About time. Get into the fight, soldiers. Uh... Okay, I don't think... Man, this is... Why can you guys move? I'm gonna send him to face you together with this dude. This knight and... We will see what we can do with you here. Mm, let's whack this guy and we'll finish him off using the other knight. Go down. This might give the hero an extra turn. Nope. Jesus Christ, this guy's a badass. He's just nailing them. Yeah, we have to save at least three civilian groups and there are two camps left. So we're not doing really a really good job. There's just that one and that one. Oh wow, the hero is really close to getting killed as well. I'm failing really badly here. Uh, actually, no, that was not the hero. The hero is here. Man, these missing animations really freak me out. Okay, so now we are left with just the last soldier, and I think the claw, well, he can't really finish him off, but I'm gonna try to at least hurt him. Though if... He turns out and kills the claw, and we are truly screwed. Why are you... you guys aren't doing anything, are you? No. And the knights can't do anything either. So they're just... Doomed to stay there. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, you're gone. Nice. So this guy can now go help up north, and we got... These three here. So I'm thinking they might come at us. Yeah. So we'll first dispose of these two and... Actually, where can you... Okay, you can reach the hero no matter what I do. What about you? Okay, you cannot. So let's move to hero here. And the claw behind her. And you guys will storm these. Attack! Strike! And you will finish him off without him even retaliating. And the last man of the hour will go and strike. Though I don't think that's necessary. Nah, it actually isn't. So you will go here and attack this foot soldier. Hopefully forcing him to stay in the conflict. Yes. So this now oh man. I wanted to strike him into his back, but 
It didn't work out. Okay, the hero basically bitch slapped him. <laughs> uh, not much a call can do. Okay, come on. Um, well, you could. You really could. Well, he would kill you then, so let's just hold you here and send the rest of the team to do the dirty work. Man, Baruti can strike really hard as well. Yeah, 12. I have a feeling Baruti will be one of the best characters in the game. Nice. I really like when they collapse like this. It feels so realistic. Not that I would hate anyone with a Zord in my life, but <laughs> I can imagine that the sheer force of getting hit in the helmet can send you flying down. Okay, now what? We're probably supposed to swallow those guys. So let's move here. And move here. I have a feeling that these archers won't get nasty on us. Uh, you, on the other hand, I wonder if you could get. If you could save them. I never actually saved anyone. So it feels like you need to go in. Oh god, the call is prone to getting murdered. Yeah, if you move in there, we'll have to move in carefully. Okay, you can end the turn. Yeah, not, not doing that. You know, can move and... You can... So it's a new like so... It would be ideal if it gave me the extra soldier. Okay, so we saved one. The other one, we didn't. It's kinda sad. Oh yeah, but we got... <laughs> we got the extra knight, that's good. So... Probably the best course of action in this one would be just to uh, move forward at the highest possible speed and attack. Oh, they killed the claw. Those bastards. Yeah, and they're shooting at us from their wicked arrows. So the hero will strike this guy. Foot soldier. Reinforcements have arrived from the city. Okay, well that that's that's a bad rap right there. <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but okay. Oh, at least these guys are extremely weak. They would just fall down easily. So let's attack this guy, kill him, and it was an overkill. You know what? I should send you down there and you up. With other reinforcements, that wouldn't have been any reason for that other than mm, oh no oh god he was in the zone of control well at least you can see it, it now <laughs> oh man oh well, you're already here so what the hell so we got two more soldiers okay well we got defeated too many civilians were killed but I hope this gave you at least a bit of look on Tahira and how the game works. It's pretty fun, even in this case, and I believe that once the campaign is incorporated and once um, the dialogues come in and you can develop and play with the different characters, the game is going to be awesome. So yeah, this was Alpha P Omega, bringing it to Hira, the Astral Empire, and its fall.